Hi there, welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how I use OneNote to help my productivity on the Microsoft Surface Go 2 and show you how it can help you too. Uh, and if you want to see more videos about technology and how to use it productively, then please subscribe and hit the like button so we can help out. So let's go on with the video. So I've used Evernote and Apple Notes before. I'm in a Microsoft ecosystem, so I tried OneNote and oh my, it is brilliant, it's great. Um, it's so great, in fact, that I bought the Microsoft Surface Go 2 specifically to use the OneNote app. And, and you should also get the pen as well for the Microsoft Surface Go 2 um, because it gives you a much more simplified way of using OneNote. Obviously, you can use handwritten notes then um, and it just simplifies everything for you. Um, I use the OneNote and the pen every day for work and I keep all my thoughts and ideas in there. Um, so let's have a look and see how it's structured and organised to help productivity. So let's look at how you can organise yourself within OneNote to be more productive. First thing you can do is you can set up sections in your notebook. Now this can be on anything that's relevant to you specifically. Um, for example, if you're a student, then it could be topics from your course. If you're a teacher, it could be each class you teach or the year group you teach. Um, for me specifically, I have daily notes for work, project notes for issues at work, and then other personal sections for ideas, shopping lists, and other bits and pieces. From there, you can then add pages into these sections. This is where the topic can be broken down into themes, or if you're a teacher and you're using year groups, you could then break it down into topics. And where for me, I have daily notes broken down into my months and then days. This means you can add sub pages to a page. So for example, each month then has the days within them. This just keeps things more organized and easier to search through. Um, I did consider having everything on one long note, but for this method of having sub pages and putting them into a more organised way worked better for me. The next thing is the setup of the page itself. So you're able to have a number of different setups for your page. You could have lines, um, those lines come in different thicknesses, so you can have different spacing between the lines. You could have squared pages and you could also have different colour pages which allows you to personalise your setup. Personally, I just keep a blank page as a white colour. Um, I like it this way. It means I have more space and I have the freedom to use the whole page uh, however I want to use it. But I could see if you were a maths teacher, for example, the squared page setup could be really useful. You can also expand the page out so it fills up your whole screen. Uh, just by clicking onto the arrows in the top corner, the diagonal arrows in the top corner, and that will expand out to give you even more screen real estate by using the whole screen. So one of the best features for me to be productive within OneNote is the ability to import documents um, into OneNote itself and then I can annotate them as needed. So, for example, if I wanted to bring in a PDF document, this is really simple, very simple to do. All you need to do is you go and find the document after you click insert from the ribbon, find your PDF document and then click and import it. Here you go. Let me show you how to do that. Then using the pen you can select a pen type and then you can start annotating writing on the document and giving the notes that you want ready to have them to read later on or to share out with other people if that's what you need to do. You can also do this with PowerPoint, very handy for students and teachers as I know that when I'm teaching PowerPoint is used quite a lot and being able to just import these slides into OneNote would be really really handy. So with PowerPoint, you can't just import this though, you have to print to OneNote or change the format into PDF by printing to PDF. So let's have a look at how we do that. The easiest way is to select the file, 
print and then print to OneNote 10 for Windows. That's the app which is you really useful and probably the best thing you're going to be using in the um, or on the Microsoft Surface Go 2. Once you've selected that, you need to go back to OneNote and then you select where you want that file to be imported to. And once you've selected this, the slides will then appear on the page that you've identified for the file to be imported to. And then you're able to make notes around the slides and annotate them to your heart's content. Other things you can insert are videos, which are great to have next to some of your notes or your teaching resources for you to use in your lesson. So with the Amazon slides, for example, that I've just brought in, I might want to add a video to develop my understanding or extend my knowledge in some way. This is super simple to do. You just need to get the video URL from the website. Usually it's going to be a YouTube video, so you just select the URL at the top in the address bar you copy that and then you put it into the address bar after you've clicked on the import video button. Once it's on the page you can then move it around, you can resize it, it will then play just within the page. Really simple, really effective. The last thing I wanted to talk about in the way that it's helped me with my productivity is the search function within OneNote. This works really well with handwritten notes, which is how I'm keeping my notes at the moment because I just love work, working and writing with the Surface Pen. So it will allow you to find words or phrases within any of your notes you have in your notebook and you simply type the search term and it provides you with a list of results and then you can choose whichever one it is you're looking for from that list of results. Very quick, very easy, helps with my productivity immensely. So this is how I'm using OneNote on my Surface Go 2 to help with my productivity. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you have used it in a different way or if you have anything you would like more information on with the Surface Go 2. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful. Thanks a lot.